Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to rescale DB connectivity architecture. Before going to connectivity architecture, I will show you see how it is hosted. This is Microsoft Data Center. In Microsoft Data Center, we have two clusters. I mean, uh, for example, I am saying that two, there are many. Uh, in this cluster, we have four nodes. Uh, four nodes are there. In the four nodes, we have two no two. SQL servers are they hosted the, all these are logical servers okay by default we have two uh, just wait we have two connection three connection policies are there one is by d, d, uh, this is default one is a proxy and is one is one is another one is redirect so the main difference but between these two is if you selected proxy as your connection policy each First, it has to be authenticated through gateway, and it has to, and after that, it is go to the respective database. Uh, if you are in uh, in proxy connection policy, each and every packet has to be authenticated, and it has to be go through gateway only. By this, uh, because of this policy, you are it may experience latency issues, and as well as. Uh, output also you didn't get uh, much uh, here you can see you can reduce output also throughput also so it is go so once you are experiencing latency issues the first one you have to check is what connection policy you are using and the second policy is uh, redirect okay the redirect means first whenever uh, the customer is connecting to the SQL server the first time it is it has go to the re gateway and get authenticated and it uh, go reach to the second uh, the second time directly it will go to the respective database only because of this nature it will reduce the latency and also improve throughput also okay one another one is default by uh, by default all connection policies will be in default only this means when you are trying to connect the SQL server from Azure resources like if you are created a VM in Azure after uh, and from that PM you are connecting to to the SQL server by that time it will use as a redirection connection policy and you are connect if you are connecting outside the SQL server from outside the Azure then it is used as a proxy proxy connection policy okay by default every region have default gateways ips also you can see here now uh, we have all seen all these issues on gateways now we we need to check what connection policy we are using and how to change it using powershell okay come to here down copy this code okay Go. come to azure portal here click the cloud shell button okay here you can see that asha svr dot database dot windows dot it is my server name copy that sorry uh, uh, come here just copy that open notepad and paste it here and come to here here you need to copy the database name uh, sorry server name come here sorry open notepad here Renew the SQL server name and paste your server name on without database extension. Okay, if you mention dot database dot windows dot in you may encounter with errors. Okay, now what is my resource group name is text demo. Type text demo. Okay, first of all check. Let's check what connection policy we are we are using. Come here, copy, copy, and go to portal and paste it here. Just press enter. Here you can see that I am using as a proxy. Can right now connection policy. Okay. Now I want to change as a. Uh, I want to change from proxy to redirect now come here change it to type redirect 
and copy total sorry no need to copy all just copy this and go to portal again and paste it here and click execute now you can here you can clearly see that just wait i will here you can see that my connection type is e is equal to redirect okay now again if you want to move to the default you can see here sorry in this one i am closing and you are maybe get confused if you want to move to the default here you can type as a default okay now this is how you can now you, you just check here copy above three commands and go to and paste it here here you can see that we have successfully changed from the proxy connection policy to redirect this is how you can change in your organization also if you like this video click the like button and do comment thank you for watching this video bye